Why were you pointing it at us? I wasn't exactly pointing. Okay, I, I think I know when a gun is being pointed at me, and you've already shot Nathan once, so don't pretend that you wouldn't shoot us. Okay, I can either tell you what happened, or I can wait on my lawyer. Okay, so what happened? I entered the garage to the Harborview side, and I was making my way to the elevator, and I noticed the gun on the ground next to a dark pool of liquid. I assumed it was blood. I kneeled down to take a better look. Heard a loud noise. I grabbed the gun, moved to a more secure position. Okay, so why touch the gun? I was unarmed. I might have needed to protect myself. <sighs> Describe this noise. The, um, it, it was loud and, and sharp, kind of like a car backfiring or a gunshot. We heard it too. That's what she said. All right, so, so you're innocent, right? You're just a guy at the wrong place at the wrong time who happened to pick up a gun? That's the truth. You know, this is the same thing you said right after the Honest Star. And yet the first thing you did after getting exonerated was join up with Julian Jerome. I run his garage. Yeah. Right. And I wear socks with my sandals. You okay. what? Jerome called out a hit on somebody. Is that what this is about? We catch you doing your boss's dirty work? When Miss Jones and I arrived, Mr. Barnes... Doe. Mr. Doe was positioned behind the car using this cover. He complied with directions to put the gun down and allowed himself to be handcuffed. Now, according to Mr. Doe, he found the gun lying on the ground next to what appears to be blood. But we got no idea on a Vic, and Mr. Doe denies having fired a shot. I need you to take this to CSI and have them send somebody down here to take a sample of the blood. What do you want to do about the suspect? I have him brought to the PCPD for further questioning. I'm being arrested? Well, not yet, but I am having you brought in for questioning and held until I get answers. I can't tell you what I don't know. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I am sorry for the misunderstanding. I hope you didn't do this, Jake. Carly and Spinelli really like you, and they have fantastic instincts, mostly. So if you are innocent for futures, if you see a gun on the ground next to a pool of blood, don't pick it up. And you don't need it. You could probably kill someone with a ballpoint pen. I don't know about that. Okay, that wasn't a suggestion. I don't need to see you do it. I got it, yeah. <laughs> Somebody obviously got shot here tonight, though, and I really hope you didn't pull the trigger. I didn't. Get him out of here. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I just wish there was one night in Port Charles where there was no violence or nobody got shot. One night? How about every night? That's what every cop on the force is trying to make happen. Can't stop thinking about who got hurt. There were so many people here tonight that we care about. That could be anyone's blood. <laughs>